Hi, in this tutorial, we will want to create the app in the Alan Suze dashboard and will create the app keys for the Android and the iOS platform. We will also going to set up the ad unit IDs for App Lovin, Unity Ads, Alan Suze and Google AdMob. First, we need to sign up and create the account. You can click on sign up over here. I already have an Iron Source account, so I will just going to sign in. First, we need to click on add app, and here you can add a URL if your app is live, or you can select app not live in the application store in case your app is not published yet. For me, I will going to choose app not live in the application store. And here we can provide a name to our game, demo game. And here we can choose the platform Android. For the setup configurations, we can choose a new setup. And for the Iron Source Network, we can choose this is a general audience app that is not directed to children. Let's click Add App. Here, toggle on the rewarded video, interstitial, and the banner. Click Continue. Now here we got our Android app key. We will copy and paste it later in the video. Now here we can add any networks that we need. Now I have already added the Google AdMob, Unity Ads and the App Loving Ad Networks by going to Manage Networks and here you can click on the plus sign and this will automatically going to add the ad network for you. You can choose all these four and add them over here. Now we need to set up the Google Ad Mob and the Unity Ads Ad Units as well as the Apple with Ads Ad Units. First, to set up the Google Ad Units, we need to go to the Ad Mob. Let's click on plus sign. Search for Ad Mob. Here you can sign in up. Click on apps, add app. Here you can choose the Android platform and it's not listed on any store yet. So we can choose no. Click continue, provide an app name. I will choose demo game Android. Click add app. Click done. Here we can create ad units for our demo game Android. Click create ad unit, then click banner. Here we can provide an ad unit name. Right now I'm going to type here banner Android. And here we need to check this checkbox as we are using this ad unit for the real time bidding and we are using the mediation platform which is the level play in our case. We need to check this checkbox and click create ad unit. Now it provides us the AdMob app ID and the AdMob ad unit ID. We can first of all click done. The banner Android ad unit is created. We can use the same approach to create the interstitial and the rewarded ad units. Now here we created all the three ad unit IDs for the panel, interstitial and the rewarded. We need to go back to our Iron Source dashboard. Click on the Google Ad Mob here. And here we need to first enter the app ID. To get the app ID, we need to go back to the Google Ad Mob, go to the app settings. And here we can copy the app ID. Just click on it, it will copy it automatically. And here we can control V or command V on Mac to paste it up. For the rewarded video, we need to paste the ad unit ID. We can go back to the ad mob, go back to the ad units, and here we can 
copy the rewarded Android and paste it over here. I will do the same thing for the interstitial and the banner. And for the banner. Click on save. Now our ad mob is configured properly. If we need to apply the same approach here on Google, click on setup. Now here, as you can see, app ID is automatically being filled. We can just copy and paste again the ad unit IDs for this. Click on save. Now our Google Ad Mob is configured properly. We do not have to configure the Google Ad Mob native. We only need to configure the Google Ad Mob and the Google, which is located here for the building and the non building Now we will going to update the Unity Ads game IDs. To do this, let's go back to our Unity project. And here we need to click on Edit Project Settings. And here, click on services and select your organization and click on create project ID. After creating the project ID, you need to select no for this. Will this app be primarily targeted to children under age 13? We need to select no and click on save. Now, we need to set up the ad units in the Unity dashboard. Click on open dashboard over here. This will open up the Unity's dashboard. In the dashboard, we need to click on Back to Gaming Services. And here, we need to click on Monetization. Now click on Get Started. Now here we need to choose, I plan to use Mediation. As we are going to use free ad networks with Unity, Iron Source, AdMob, as well as the App Lovin. For the Mediation Partner, we need to choose a Unity Level Play and then click Next. Check the no, I want to start fresh and click next. And yes, we are going to use the bidding approach and then we're going to click next. Our game is not live yet on the store. So I will go to choose this option. My app is not live in, the, in an app store yet. I will click add project. Now we got our organization core ID, game ID for both the Android and the iOS. Now here, let's click finish. Now we need to create the ad unit IDs for the rewarded banner as well as the interstitial. Click on the ad units. Now here, as you can see, it has already created the placements for us for the rewarded interstitial, but for the banner, there is no ad unit. Let's create an ad unit ID for the banner. Click on add ad unit. Give it, give the name banner Android. Select the Android platform as choose the banner. Click create and click done. I'm also going to add the placement by clicking on zero placement. Now click on the add placement and here choose bidding and give it a name banner Android. Click add placement. We can create another ad unit for our iOS platform. To do this, click add unit again. Give the name banner iOS. Choose iOS platform. Select banner and click create. Give it a placement name banner iOS. Click add placement. And now we need to copy and paste these ad unit IDs from the Unity's dashboard to the Iron Souls. Let's go first and copy and paste the banner Android. Click copy to clipboard. Go back to the Iron Souls. Click Unity Ads Setup. And here let's paste the banner. For the interstitial, we'll go back to the interstitial tab and here copy and paste the interstitial Android and paste it over here and we will apply the same thing for the reward. 
For the game ID, we can go to the top and copy the Android game ID from here and paste it over here. Click save. This will going to confirm the Android Unity ads are configured properly into the dashboard. Now, lastly, we need to add the app login ad unit IDs into the dashboard. To do this, we need to first of all go to the app login dashboard. Let's search for app login. And here, if you do not have account, just sign up. I'm going to sign in. After signing in up, we need to click on the app discovery. Click on zones. Here we need to create a zone ID as if you go into the dashboard and click on the app login, you can see it requires the zone ID for us to be created as well as the SDK key. We will first create the zone IDs for the app login. Let's go back to the app login, create zone, give the name, I'm going to name it demo game manner, Android. I will choose the Android platform, select the ad type to be banner, click optimized by app login and click save. You can apply the same approach for the interstitial as well as the rewarded video zone IDs. After creating the zone IDs, we need to just copy and paste the zone IDs to the appropriate fields. To do this, we need to just copy this zone ID for the banner and then go back to the iron source dashboard, click on app login setup, click on banner and paste it over here. And same thing for the interstitial as well as the rewarded. Copy the rewarded. Paste it here. For the SDK key, we need to go back to the app login dashboard, go back to our account and click on keys over here. Here you will find the SDK key. Just copy and paste this SDK key that you will find on the dashboard to the iron source dashboard over here and click save. Now our app login, Google Admo and Unity Ads is configured properly. In case it shows API failed, you do not have to be worried. It's just the server errors sometimes occur. It just takes some verification time. So you do not have to be worried here. Everything is set up properly on the dashboard now. Now I have followed the same process and created the demo game iOS for the iOS platform and set up the ad networks for it. Great. So we successfully set up the ad networks on the dashboard. Thanks for watching this video.